Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and say hi to SGR in his tier 8 Japanese gunboat, the Akizuki. So SGR's uh, in a 3 point domination game mode on Crash Zone Alpha. Uh, let's see what we can do in the Charlie Cap. If there's no radar around it's usually quite easy to take uh, the caps on Crash Zone Alpha, they're pretty large and uh, with the Ak Akizuki not having fantastic concealment this should help him quite considerably here. The good news is he's top tier so I think uh, an opportunity to do something in this game I think, however there is a CV about so We'll see what trouble he gets up to with that. But in the meantime, the cap's looking pretty good. Um, sign up's coming into range. So maybe he can possibly get some torpedoes out on uh, the tier 7 Russian battleship there. That's one set away. And he's going to use the reload booster to get another set off. Predicting a turn to the right. So yeah, and we'll see what happens there. I mean the sign up seems quite keen at the moment to push in. But I think he, he'll probably change his mind when he comes under fire from the supporting ships. That are just behind the island here. <coughs> helping us, SJR. And it looks like the enemy Ryujo, uh, the, the tier 6 Japanese CV, is worrying uh, the Bravo cap at the moment. So, yeah, hopefully that uh, gives us an opportunity to uh, get things done in this cap. So, yeah, cap's been taken, he's got some torps into the sign up, and he's going to take another one, which is fantastic. And now he's smoked up. And he's opening fire with the 100 mil guns. Well, maybe we, he can get a fire on the sign up, which would be fantastic at this point. I mean, he's already taken considerable damage, so there's a pretty good opportunity here. And yeah, he gets the fire. And the second fire. I don't think the sign up's long for this world. And that's uh, SJR's first kill. Fantastic. If we take a look at the minimap, you can see that uh, the team's reasonably spread around the map, which is good. So hopefully they're not going to give any caps away for free. Uh, which is one of my pet hates in this game. Uh, I, I really don't see a reason why um, you should give caps away for nothing, you know. I mean, it's, it's really important to get the caps and at least start ticking in, into a points game. And at this point it's looking reasonably good. Um, and a rogue Miyoko turns up, so... SJR's going to turn back into the cap, get some torpedoes away on his position. And there's also an Andrea Doria pushing in to the north. And yeah, looks like the Bravo cap's been taken by the Asashio. And SJR's travelling in his general direction at the moment. <clears throat> Not sure that he's mo uh, noticed him just yet. He's kind of concentrating on uh, these ships on his left hand side. But I don't think, yeah, the Miyoko goes down. However, uh, we've lost a DD in the Alpha Cap. So, looks like the enemy is strong down there in the southwest. And um, SJR's got some torpedoes out in the Asashio B. And I think he's going to open up with his guns here. Always a solid choice in the Akizuki. I mean, the rate of fire is fantastic. And uh, the Asashio B can't top him because he's equipped with deep water torpedoes. And um, why he's 
actually turning into SGR that seems a little bit daft to be honest uh, SGR is just going to keep up the fire uh, this Ashio does seem to be modulating his speed somewhat but you know there's no escape from these guns so uh, I think we'll find that this will be SJR's second kill that's a, a very valuable kill for the team um, the Ashio B is an enormous threat to uh, the friendly battleships so yeah good kill And the enemy CV is inbound on SJR's position. So we'll see what kind of damage he'll inflict. What a dodge. Wow. <laughs> when I try that, I always get hit. <laughs> okay. That was... Um, that was fortunate, I think. Didn't take any damage at all. So SJR is going to travel into the Bravo cap and shoot a few of these planes down even which is well at least two of them which is great so at the moment the teams are even on ships uh, they've both lost five ships each and the points are quite similar too however the enemy will tick into the lead if they have more caps so it's really important that SJR and the friendly Fubuki get the Bravo cap here. And there's a Belfast inbound as well to help facilitate that. So hopefully we'll get the cap. Now the radio location suggests that there's ships coming in from enemy ships coming in from the Alpha cap. So we'll see about that. Um, Looks like the Ryujo is sending his torpedo bombers to the Charlie Cap, so... Ah! And here we find a French DD. So SJR opens fire. Cap's nearly taken. I think I might have held my fire until the cap was taken there. And maybe driven into him a little bit closer. But, you know, he's got some damage into the, uh, the French DD there. Of course, this is the Akizuki's strength, the rate of fire, and having the ability to push into uh, lower tier DDs like this, it's really no problem for this ship. <coughs> Akizuki also has a far superior health pool, SJR's got nearly 15,000 hit points left, the Jeppard's on 4,000, so be good if we could get rid of this guy at this point but he's doing the right thing continuing to drive into him keeping the, the fire up and yeah he's got him great stuff and the gator turns up as well <clears throat> fantastic so he's speed boosting away so I think SJR could do with just leading him slightly more there and it never rains but it pours. The Ryujo is here. So I think SGR is going to get some torpedoes away on this guy. And he does. And he's going to use the reload booster as well. I mean, probably didn't need to do that. And I think I would have probably opened fire with the guns as well. At that point. But you never know, it might put him off and he might have turned if he was coming under fire. So, you know, it's not a bad choice. And he gets uh, hit by some rocket planes. And if that Ryuji is straight line, he's dead. So, yeah. Good night, sweet prince. So, four kills for SGR. And... Yeah, uh, ships are even, even numbers. Uh, SJR's team have slightly more points, having the two caps. And it looks like the majority of the enemy team have travelled north, north of Bravo Cap anyway. Uh, it 
been really nice if we could get eyes on this Gator and take him out. I think the only other ship that we need to be concerned about is the Andrea Doria that's travelling south. He could turn in and uh, threaten the Belfast. In fact, the Belfast could be in a pretty difficult situation there, actually. So, yeah, shots out the Gator. Now, SJR decides to smoke up here, and I don't think I'd have done that. I think I'd have driven straight into that lower tier DD and kept that rate of fire going. As you can see, he's lost quite a lot of health. <clears throat> and yeah, he's uh, managed to smoke up and create some concealment for himself. And SJR is also coming under fire from the Andrea Doria in the south. Um, so I think the only thing he can do here is travel into the Alpha Cap and uh, secure that. Um, meanwhile, we've lost another ship, so yeah, it's it's looking quite tight actually. I mean, potentially the um, the Belfast could be in a tricky situation, definitely. And I th have a feeling as well that uh, the friendly CV is maybe getting spotted as well. So we'll see about that. Anyway, in the meantime. SJR is still traveling, traveling towards the Alpha Cap. I maybe would have taken a slightly more direct route through the enemy DD smoke screen here, probably. Um, sometimes you can, you can get the element of surprise by popping out of a enemy smoke screen. You can often get eyes on a on a retreating ship that way. It can be quite handy. The problem with the Akizuki, of course, is uh, its speed isn't the greatest. So, you know, if you want to get anywhere, you're not going to do it particularly quickly unless you're under a uh, speed boost, but still, it struggles to, to breach sort of 37, 38 knots. So, SJR's entering the Alpha Cap and he should be able to take this easily. I have a feeling that the enemy Gator really doesn't want anything to do with SGR at this point and I'd be surprised to see him. I think he's just run as fast as he can in the opposite direction just to preserve his health and, and maybe get some torpedoes off on the uh, cruisers in Bravo Cap even, I don't know, but I mean it looks to me as though he's just gone straight north or northwest even. So yeah, I think um, this cap's safe. And the right thing to do of course, because at this point there's a, a strong chance that we could lose one or both of the uh, our remaining cruisers. Um, we're down to three ships here, which is slightly concerning really. I mean, at this point, it's really important to uh, preserve the points lead that the team have uh, managed to uh, get so far. So, SGR is playing it ultra cautiously and turning back around. And he's got eyes on the Andrea Doria that's uh, deciding to attack the Belfast now. Now, the Belfast had his radar up. And there was no sign of the Gator, so yeah, my suspicions were correct. I think he's just run away. But the Andrea Dora is a massive threat, and the Flandre is also pushing in at the Bravo Cap now. And he's managed to take out the friendly Hipper, so yeah, this is uh, quickly turning into what we call in the trade a shit show, potentially. However, SGR's team have got all the caps, um, thanks to him of course, you know, he's travelled all the way from the Charlie cap through Bravo cap and into the Alpha cap 
and I, I think if it hadn't been for SGR doing that the team would certainly be in a far worse position so I think <clears throat> he's going to try and get some torpedoes away on the Andrea Doria here which is the right thing to do of course and I think at this point I might, I might consider opening fire with the guns as well to distract his attention a little bit away from the Belfast and yeah the Belfast outstayed his welcome really he should have been uh, retreating far sooner than he, he was so that's uh, SJR all on his own now So now it's absolutely key that SJR secures this kill for his Kraken Unleashed. Which is absolutely fantastic and because there's four ships left on the enemy team there's a good chance he could get a solo warrior here. So let's cross our fingers for SJR. I think at this point I'd be uh, considering sailing into the corner because I don't think the enemy team will have time to cap both Charlie and Alpha. So, yeah. And I don't think it'd be very nice if a hipper turned up around the side of this island. So, yeah, I mean, SJR's being cautious. He's doing the right thing, but... If that hipper turns up within six kilometers, there could be an issue. And we don't really know where he is. I mean, he was last spotted in Charlie Cap. And he probably is up there, but you never know. That could be the DD, right? And it's nice to see that SJR's team are giving him some friendly advice and a little bit of help there with timings. So, yeah, I think we're all good here. And there we go, that's the win. And what a result. Solo Warrior, Dev Strike on the Ryujo and Kraken Unleashed, 110,000 damage. And 2,572 XP. Fantastic job, SGI, well played. And that's the uh, the hit list. And sign up, Ryujo, Sashio B, Jeppard and Andrea Doria. It would have been nice if you could have got uh, the, the Gator with that as well. So, I hope you all enjoyed that. And uh, as always, guys, thanks ever so much for watching. I do appreciate it greatly. And uh, I'll catch you soon. Bye-bye.